Let me guess, you just want to see the fat guy scream about a mic he hates, don't ya? Okay, well, we'll see about that. So then, let's just keep this video simple and answer one question. Why is everyone buying this microphone? And more importantly, why is this mic one of the most recommended? Let's test it out and see if I hate it or not. And by the way, yes, Samson did send me this mic and a couple others. Very brave of them, but the review is my own. Not gonna lie, usually when something is this cheap, it feels flimsy in the hands, and for what this is, it is super cheap. It's 70 bucks on Amazon, and they even have a package deal with a decent set of cans to get you started, but this doesn't feel cheap. There's a decent amount of heft to it. In fact, I think it's a tad heavier than the SM58. I will tell Future Me to put the weights up here. Future Aiden here, and maybe you can just try to not be so lazy next time and put it in your script, you lazy piece of shit. Future Me is gonna pay for that. Anyways, the body is just like any other handheld dynamic, solid feel. The grill isn't weak. Great showing, but of course, there is more. This is a USB mic, and you can see that down here. Now, big points off for that USB connection. It's Type-C or bust as far as I'm concerned, but it also has an XLR for later when you upgrade your gear and go with an interface. Or if you want, you can even send that signal to two different places, like your PC and an interface, or the PA system, whatever you want. This is a handheld dynamic microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. It's 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz, has an SPL of 148 dB, and the sensitivity is listed at neg 54, which is kind of annoying that there isn't more info on it. So I guess we'll just let the microphone speak for itself. Now for the off-axis rejection of the Samson Q2U. This is me speaking about five inches off the front of the capsule. Now I'm speaking into the side of the capsule from about five inches away. Now I'm using the microphone completely wrong. I'm about five inches off the rear of the capsule. Now for the plosive rejection test of the Samson Q2U. And I got to say, uh, there was a listener that actually said, why don't you do the plosive from a normal distance? And I never ever thought of that. So look at me learning from my mistakes. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Ah, huh? learning. Now for a proximity effect test of the Samson Q2U. This is me speaking about five inches off the front of the capsule. Now I'm about one inch off the front of the capsule. Five inches? One inch. I'm actually shooting this after the fact, and uh, one test I did actually didn't turn out well, and it was kind of the handling noise as we go and move around with the mic, but the one thing I didn't do that I should have done, and this is one thing I found in shooting this video, that is pretty bad. Which is disappointing, but at the same time, super cheap microphone. Now this is a test of the Samson Q2U through the XLR port going into my Aturia Minifuse 2. So the interface is about $99 US and the microphone is $75 US. And this is what it sounds like. Once again, uh, there are some definite capsule issues there. However, once again, $75 US and it works as USB, works with two ports out. What do you think though? This is the Samson Q2U. It's a cheap microphone. It sounds like it's a Pokemon character, but no. Or maybe it is a Pokemon character and it's also a microphone. Dun dun dun. What is this Pokemon superpower? It delivers audio to your viewers right now. You should buy this mic or not. Whatever you feel is right for you. <laughs> for a while, I was doing something called a value proposition, though it didn't go over too well in videos. Kind of want to talk about it here. You see, this microphone doesn't promise the world. Literally, the intention of this microphone is to offer a simple entry-level option for people starting a podcast or who just want to get audio done and recorded. And really, it's a no-brainer when you think about it. 70 bucks and off you go. And I think it's important to point out that not everyone is going for professional audio and some just want to create content now, which is exactly what you sometimes just need to do, get started. But unless you're completely confident that you will be using this gear for years to come, limiting your investment to just 70 bucks to get started is a way to go. And the beauty of this microphone is if you do decide to expand later on, you can do so because this thing works with XLR and it sounds pretty good too. It's not the smoothest mic ever, but it also doesn't assault your ears with buzzing or really nasty frequencies. So 
that's a pretty big plus. And it offers you a bunch of versatility as well. When you add all those things together, it completely negates any way that this microphone falls short. It's one of the best USB microphones at this price point and even beyond, kinda. All due to the fact that it's a dynamic, which has fallen short for a lot of other companies. Easy hats off to Samson for this, and an even easier recommendation. Uh, what else is there to say, really? This microphone checks a lot of boxes for a lot of people. It isn't a mic that enthusiasts might be keen to get into their collections, but if you know someone that wants to start recording and they don't have a lot of coin, give them my affiliates link, which is down below. And maybe if they're interested in going head on into a life of gear acquisition syndrome, just share the channel with them. Maybe start with this video here. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.